Hi, in this video we're going to learn about Bayes' Theorem. We're going to look at the cause of a printer failure. So let's get to the particular problem. Printer failures are associated with three types of problems. Hardware problems, and let's go ahead and label this as the event H. Uh, software problems, let's label this as S. And other problems, and I'm going to call this OT. I, I don't feel comfortable labeling it O because we might get confused with it being the probability zero later, so I'll use that language. Um, the probabilities of these problems are given as 0.1 for hardware, 0.6 for software, and 0.3 for other. So let's go ahead and write this out as probabilities. Uh, the probability of a hardware problem is 0.1. The probability of a software problem is 0.6. And the probability of some other type of problem is 0.3. And we're considering these mutually exclusive events. They don't overlap, and you're only going to have one and only one type of these problems. So if we look at the sample space of all the printer failures, uh, the problems, uh, we can break them up into three mutually exclusive regions. So over here is hardware problems, 10% of the time, 60% uh, of the time. Uh, that's probably a little bit not looking like 60%, but this is software, and this is others. So this is representing 10%, uh, 60%, and 30%. Picture not drawn to scale. Um, now I have a little bit more information given to me in the next uh, sentence. I mean, given I know I have a certain type of problem, I can find out the probability of a printer failure. That's what I'm given. So the probability of a printer failure, given that we have a hardware problem, is 0.9. So this is a conditional probability, and I want to be very careful at how I write this. Let's consider a printer failure. Let's call that a, the event F. So given that, we have a hardware problem, the probability of a failure is 0.9. So in probability language, this is how we would write that. So probability of failure given hardware problem is 0.9. Okay, the symbol in probability means given that. So given that I have a hardware problem, the probability of failure is 0.9. Probability of failure given software is up here 0.2 and then probability of some um, given we have some other type of problem that we have a printer failure is 0.5 that's given right here so it, I think another picture would help you if you think about it um, failures can occur in each of these regions um, given I have a hardware problem the probability of printer failure is 90 percent so there's a large probability of failure here, 90% uh, of the time in this uh, part of the sample space. Um, in software, only about 20% of the time, about half the time in the other. So if you want to, you could just imagine labeling this event failure, and you can see it overlaps each of those regions. Okay, so the total probability of failure is actually dependent on which of these regions you're in. And we've learned that in the previous chapter. That's called total probability rule. So in fact, we might as well write that out here. Um, the probability of failure, well, failure can occur three ways. Failure given you're in the hardware, given you have a hardware problem. Failure given you had a software problem. Or failure given you had another type of problem. And I have to multiply by the probability I'm even in one of these cases. So let's go ahead and just use that rule, um, the total probability rule, to write out what I just said. So probability of failure is probability of failure given you had a hardware problem times the probability you even had a hardware problem. I mean, the hardware problem is the least likely. But if you do get in that hardware category, the probability of failure is quite high. Um, plus the probability of failure given a software problem times the probability that you would have a software problem plus the probability of failure given other times the probability you would have an other type of problem. And I actually calculated this on the next page, but we could easily do, I mean, the way to calculate this totally is just to plug and chug the values we have above. So hardware, um, given we have a hardware problem, uh, the probability of failure is 0.9 times probability hardware problem is 0.1 plus the 
plus probability of failure given software, 0.2, times the probability I even have a software problem, 0.6, plus probability of failure given other is 0.5 times the probability you're even sitting in the other category. And if we add all these up, um, I'll guarantee you it's 0.36. So probability we have a, a printer failure right now is 0.36. I wrote all these numbers on the next slide so we could carry over the information we currently have. Okay, so here's what we have, exactly what I told you. These are the givens we had written out on the previous page. And we did already find uh, the probability of failure. And let me just write over here, what we used was the total probability rule. That's how we found uh, the probability of failure on the previous page. And you had done this in a previous chapter. Okay, so the last part of the problem, what we're actually trying to find, um, if a customer does indeed have a printer failure, uh, what's the most likely cause of the problem? Was it software, uh, hardware, or other? And that's what I'm trying to find out now. And I know, um, this is kind of a trick, I know this is Bayes' theorem because I'm finding a conditional, but I'm finding the reverse conditional of the ones I were get, was given. Here's what I mean. I'm trying to find the probability of um, what are those problems um, did I have given I had a printer failure? So I'm finding a conditional still, but now notice I'm conditioning on failure, where in these above I was conditioning on hardware, software, or other. Now I'm conditioning on failure. So given I do have a printer failure, uh, what's the probability where question mark could be then, is it hardware, software, or other? Okay, so those are the three I want to find. Um, I'll, write, I'll go ahead and write out the first two completely and maybe just put in numbers for the last. So I'm trying to find the probability that um, it was a hardware problem given we had a computer failure or a printer failure. So by definition of Bayes' theorem, this is the probability of failure given hardware times the probability of hardware all divided by the basement, so we were restricting our sample space to failure. And nicely, um, with the total probability rule, we already found out the probability of failure. Okay, so if you look up here, the probability of failure is broken up really into three causes, uh, failure and hardware, failure and software, and failure and other. So all I'm doing is looking at the ratio of how could that failure be associated with hardware over the total probability of failure? So each time all you're doing is really taking the ratio of the one component divided by the total probability of failure. So this first one's going to be 0.9 times 0.1 divided by total probability of failures 0.36 and this is going to be 0.09 so over 0.36 will be a fourth. So there's a probability it's a hardware problem given we had failure. Okay, now we're going to look at probability of software problem given failure. And now this is the component we're interested in. So this is just the probability of failure given software times the probability of software all divided by probability of failure. So this one is going to be 0.2 times 0.6 divided by 0.36. So this is actually one third. Okay. And so now we know the probability of a hardware given printer failure, software problem given printer failure. And actually, I don't need to calculate the third because I know those three have to add up to one because they're mutually exclusive. Um, what, you know, given I had a failure, it's going to occur in one of those three ways. So um, probability of other given failure will just be, well, this right here, let's see if we add these two together. Um, this is going to be 7 twelfths, right? So the probability of other given failure is 5 twelfths. Okay, so now I have all three. So let's see, the, the, the question is, what is the most likely cause of the problem? Given I had a failure, which one of these is most likely to happen then? So given failure, 
printer failure, what's the probability I have a hardware problem, software, or other? So let me see, this is a quarter, uh, this is a third, and um, over here, this is um, just a little bit less than a half. So it looks like, given that I have failure, the most likely problem would have been some other problem. So I hope you see what I did. There was a lot going on in this video. Uh, the big, the big uh, idea here was Bayes' theorem, but we also got to see again the total probability rule. So just in conclusion, um, a few notes. Be very really careful to write out your events um, very systematically and very thoroughly and be... Um, be very clear because it's going to matter in the end how you write that conditional. And a big clue again for Bayes' theorem is you're still working with a conditional, but it's going to be the reverse conditional of the ones that you were given in the in the problem statement. So I hope this helps, and uh, I hope that uh, you feel good about Bayes' theorem theorem now. Okay, thanks, and we'll talk again soon.